But I'm like, just because I studied math doesn't mean I know how to like calculate crazy numbers in my head. Anyways, a couple things though that I immediately do that I'm looking at this though, you guys again, you can apply a use substitution, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, a couple things though, I, I look at this and I, I just kind of in my head kind of think of this as x squared plus one to the negative one half dx. So that's just something I immediately kind of do. And then I also think about, again, this is my brain thinking, oh, if I take the derivative of this inside, that's going to be 2x. I'm going to need something to counter that 2, right? I have the x, right? But I need to counter that 2. Everybody would agree with me? Yes? So I know that I'm going to need to multiply that by 1 half. And then I just think about taking this blob and saying, all right, well, I know I'm going to continue. I know this, this u is preserved, right? I just need to find the antiderivative of u to the negative 1 half. So if I'm taking u to the negative 1 half, if I add 1, that's going to give me positive 1 half. 1 over 1 half would be multiplying by 2. And then u to the 1 half is going to be, um, so then the add 1 to that would give me 1 half. So it's the square root of x squared plus 1 uh, to the 1 half power plus c. Or you could rewrite it as the square root of x squared plus 1 plus c. Again, going, the way that I got the 2 is, again, if you're going to look at this during u substitution, u equals x squared plus 1. If you differentiate that with respect to x, you'd get 2x, right? So du equals 2x dx. Well, I have dx, and I have the x, right? But I have this extra 2 here. So if I want to rewrite this with du, you could just divide by 2 on both sides. You could say 1 half du is equal to x dx. So therefore, what that means is I have x and dx. I need to counter that with when I write my du. So if I was going to write this in u substitution, it would look like this. Um, it would have u to the negative 1 half du. But again, d, it's not x dx. It's, it's not du. It's 1 half du. So I'd have to include the 1 half there as well. Then I could, dip, then I could integrate this, and I'd get the exact same answer I got there. OK? Still stuck on the two? We'll, yeah. do, we'll do more of them. A lot of them have it. <laughs>